A few commonly asked questions I get are riding ability. People are nervous that they're not going to be good enough riders. You don't need to be an amazing rider. You do need to be able to ride a horse in walk, trot, canter and over very small obstacles. We do have some dressage riders and they're still willing to do very small obstacles. But we just need to see that you have a balanced independent seat, that you're not relying on your reins or your hands to balance um, because that really will uh, affect the way you train a horse. So you don't need to be an amazing rider, you just need to simply be able to ride a horse. Uh, another commonly asked question is how long does the course take? It's a two year course, however it is self paced. If you have a lot of time to commit you can uh, probably get the course done quicker, perhaps in under a year if you are very ambitious. Um, but you can also take longer than two years. So if you have a lot of commitments in your life, um, you can take longer than two years. There are time frames per unit, but they're very lenient, um, 12 months for the large units per unit. So you really have a lot of time to commit. And if you go um, over time, you can uh, apply for an extension. So you're not gonna get shut out of the course. Another question I get asked is, if you do not have your own horse? If you don't have your own horse for the diploma, you will be required to work with a horse for logbook activities, to practice uh, practical activities. We do have students go to riding schools or borrow horses from friends for these activities. Um, and for the practical workshops, you can hire a horse. So you don't need to ship your horse to Australia or one of our workshops overseas there is always the option to hire a horse there. The enrolment process, a lot of people ask me when applications open. Because it is a self-paced course, we can enrol students all year round. So if there's a certain type of the year, time of the year that works well for you, you can apply and begin within a week of applying. Um, there's just some paperwork I need to send you. Uh, but once you return those forms to me, we can get you started. For the practical training, if you are an Australian student, we do run workshops in Victoria. We have run them at the Australian Equine Behaviour Centre in the past. However, we are currently setting up um, Basing Hall, which is our ESI headquarters, to be able to run our workshops here. We've put in a new arena. We hope to have some accommodations soon. So whilst workshops will continue to run at the Australian Equine Behaviour Centre, in Clonbernane, Victoria. We will be bringing them down to the Mornington to Peninsula soon. Another question I get asked is, if you are not based in Australia, how do you study this course? A huge amount of our students are internationals. Um, so the beauty of uh, an online course is that you can study the theory from anywhere in the world, providing you have internet. It's self-paced, so you don't have to attend classrooms. You can study in and around your work commitments or your writing commitments. For the practical training, we do run workshops internationally. So we run some in Canada, some in the UK. We will be running some in New Zealand. Uh, or you can visit Australia and attend our workshops here. We also have some options for distance training. So uh, there's quite a few ways international students can study the diploma and we already have quite a few international graduates.